We're here at San Bojo Lestari Orangutan Project and this year we were lucky enough to be involved in some really life-changing projects for the animals here at the sanctuary. We worked in partnership with the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation and their staff on what I'd call a long-term project. One of our projects is something that we might do once every couple of weeks because it's, it's hard work so you're not going to be doing it every day and that's been to repair some erosion on the island but we also helped to rebuild a dam which made the island usable again and we've also built a platform on this island so we've done quite a few things to get it going and it's really nice that every single volunteer has had some part to play in it and we're at a point now where the animals can finally reap the benefits. So there's two orangutans going on the island. We've got Annie, she's already been with the sanctuary for a long time, she was kept as a pet in the past. This was her previous home so she's going back home again uh, after the island has now been repaired. And we've got Chris John and this will be his first taste of freedom on the island having previously come from a circus. Uh, it's just a short sedation, they have a full medical checkup via the vets and then they're taken down to the islands and put on our lovely little boat where the technicians stay with them until they wake up. When Annie woke up, it didn't take her long to start climbing the trees and feeling back at home, which was really lovely to see after a year of her being off the island. For Chris, it's going to be really interesting to see how he gets on in the next few months because this is really different to what he's used to. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved, especially our volunteers, all the local staff, Boss Foundation, the charity, and everyone else involved really, because working together is what makes this possible and is what gives these animals the freedom they deserve. <laughs>